My God, come. Mm. Lift up your hands. Mm. Come. Your name starts with what? T. G. Whose name starts with D too? Your first name is what? George. And your last name is what? Doe. Are you sure, sir? Everybody lift up your hands. Say the name of Jesus. Sir, I don't know what the enemy is trying to do, but I hear a sound from heaven that God says, today's your first time here. God says that he's about to turn around your life. The Lord says that I should give you a word that if you can hold on to God and the voice of God, it does not matter where you are, it does not matter what you have been through, but your life will start getting back in shape. I see in the spirit that an enemy is fighting you and it has destabilized your movement, your destiny, your life, and what really God has in store for you for the past 16 years. So they say 16 years. But my God is not a liar. Say he's not a liar. Whatever he said, it will come to pass. I came to let you know that if you can hold on to God, somebody say hold on to God. If you can believe in Jesus, say if you can believe in Jesus, and you will not waver nor change your mind in God, then God will put your life back in shape. Say back in shape. Whatever that has brought you over the years, and drink up. Whatever, please stand behind him. Everybody lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. Stretch up your hands here. I see the power of God coming on you, sir. Whatever thing the enemy has sown into your life, I pray to in Jesus' name. Amen. The power of God is on you right now. Jesus. Jesus. Break loose. Yes, oh yeah. Somebody say break. Break loose. Yes, Hold it. Hallelujah. Bring him up. Everybody stretch for the hands in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, say the name of Jesus. Yes, my God. Say the name of Jesus. Everybody stretch for the hands. Say every curse. In the spirit, I see certain people. I see certain things, certain people who are trying to confuse your steps. Whenever you are about to make a particular decision in your life, they try to confuse you. They try to use your mind. They try to destabilize your movement in life. Somebody say the name of Jesus. Say any woman. Say any woman who has been assigned against your life. Say by the power of the Holy Ghost. We pray. We bind. Right now, break loose. As you are laying down, I see the power of the Holy Ghost working on you. They said you will not marry, but you will marry. They said that you will not make it, but you will make it. They are trying to confuse you, but the Lord will deliver you. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Say the Lord is doing it. The Lord is doing it. Say the Holy Spirit is working right on it. Say Jesus is in this place. Jesus is in this place. The Lord says that you tell this man it is not too late for him. It is not too late for you. Amen. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Right now. Right now. Amen. Right now. May the Lord fight for you. Amen. I said one year, then the Lord took me back to what, three years. Amen. And the woman I was talking about, Andre, is a little fair woman. That's why I say, hallelujah. Amen. Now, as I walk around you, I see the name T. Who is the name T? Theresa. And who is Theresa? My wife. Okay. Where is she? Oh, she's on the stage. Hmm. But she's in the States? Yeah. Are you still together? Thanks, sir. No, you must not finish. You are not together. You are not together physically, but spiritually there is a tie holding you. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there are relationships that when you break out from, you need, if you are out from it, you have to break it totally. Because if you don't do that, yeah. you carry what we call what? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 
Amen. They are spiritual ties. They are spiritual ties. Spiritual ties. Up your hands. Everybody stretch your hands up in The woman called. His name started, her name started with T. Three years ago you were with this woman. But something happened spiritually and that thing is still fighting you today. And that is why you are not able to make a decision for the woman who is in your life now and what you want to do now. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So in the spirit, let me tell you, when you don't break, this is a very spiritual thing. You have to tell everybody. Yes. When you are in a relationship and you break out from the relationship, you need to pray, declare, and destroy and break the chains between you and the person. Because whenever you have any ties with a person, hallelujah, when you have anything to do with a person, hallelujah, sexually, intimately, hallelujah, it makes you, the thing still holds you bound. So if you don't break it by mouth, you broke it up. But spiritually, your ties is connected. Today, we're going to break that connection. Yeah. Do you know me from anywhere? Have I ever met you before? Did you ever tell me your name? Did you ever send somebody to me? No. This is your first time. Do you believe in Jesus? You believe in the Holy Spirit that he reveals to redeem. Everybody stretch with the hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everybody. Everybody. Anybody in connection. Three years ago. What are you? They have been holding you for the past seven to eight years. Wow. But somebody say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. No, wait. Lift your hands. Say the name of Jesus. Say that to me. Say the name of Jesus. Every chain. Everything that is holding me. Spiritually. Everything that is holding me. Spiritually. That I do not know of. What I'm telling you you don't know is a spiritual thing. Lift up your hands. Say the name of Jesus. Everything that is holding me. Spiritually. Touch my hands. Touch my hands. Rub it on your hands. Touch it with your head. Say the name of Jesus. Every curse of the enemy. Close your eyes. I break it in Jesus' name. Say, Father. It is time. Listen, there is a glory of God. There is something God wants to do with you. The Lord is telling that he is not done with you. But those ties are still holding you. Somebody say holding you. So whenever you are trying to move on, you still, you, you, you get stuck. Say stuck. It's like a stagnant water. It does not flow. But there is supposed to be a flow in your life. Everybody stretch from the head. It's in the name of Jesus. As we clap our hands and pray. Every curse. Every ties. In the spirit. Against him. Break. Loose. Break. Loose. 